that's the gas due to lightning damage. A live oak tree. It's about four inches wide. It goes all the way to the top, but this is a repair with concrete, quick creep, put about 12 pounds in a deep hole that was getting rotted out. So I dug all that out. Uh, and then we filled it with quick quick crete. This top portion that was in good shape was just painted with some old enamel. And it keeps on bubbling out some areas because there's some holes where some bugs got into. So that's kind of filled with concrete there. And this is the line through here where it's the outer coat's covering up. So all it's got to do is close in the gap between these two here. So this went in here almost a whole foot. And that's just been filled with uh, quick setting concrete. We dug out all the part that had some bugs in it. Uh, it was all clean wood and then filled us all in here. It's all been packed in here. And I'll probably paint that later. You don't really have to paint it, but sometimes it just gives a track of whether there's any weird activity going on. There's, it goes all the way down here to the roots. And I might have to dig some up. There's probably some more root damage here. This way of covering this up, all it's got to do is grow back between these two, about four inches. Instead of trying to fill this whole hole up, which uh, tends to go ahead and get full of uh, bugs and stuff. So that's just some quick, uh, quick setting, quick creed mixed up in a small container in about four batches and just shoved up in there. And as soon as it started to dry, I put more and more of it in there, packed it in there real tight with a more mortar setting deal here you use on bricks. And there's the live edge. These two will grow back together. Sometimes you can cut that back with a knife so that it, it's got a nice edge, but this underneath here was getting some bugs. I pulled off some of this bark. And this is actually the edge here and not this. I'm going to pull this back just because i got to get some of these bugs out of here. it will probably grow back together in about a couple years. That's on a live oak that's about 24 inches, you know, 48 inches in diameter. The tree's probably about 120 years old. Got by struck by lightning a couple years ago. And there's some of the damage up there. It's been blown away way up here. It's got some damage up there. Now what I did about two years ago, I cut this into a V. And that makes it tend to close up quicker. One of the books I've got from the 30s on tree surgery mentions to make sure you start this at a V and that had kind of a funky broken area so I cut this all the way back to it was solidly attached and then this has been growing really quick back through here which is good. What you can do is you can paint on here a line say half inch away from the border and you can kind of watch it close up over time. Or you can put some screws in there but if you ever cut the tree down or something later on you'll hit that with the saw so put some little brads in there you can kind of see how it slowly closes up. Now in here you can see little bitty holes here. I painted this earlier today. And that's where there's some type of stuff going on. You get outgassing so you get bubbles. So this needs to be painted over several times to get a clear coat. They typically tell you not to paint it over. I've always done that just so that I've got a it doesn't necessarily help, but sometimes it just gives you track of where uh, you don't let any crap get inside there. Like here, there was a whole board for a beetle, and so it would never fill with paint, so I just filled that thing with some rocks and stuff. So that's going to shut that down. This big, huge hole here went in there almost about a foot, and I dug all that out and uh, scraped out all the bad wood to a solid. That's full of concrete. This paint I used here is just some old enamel that's probably 20 years old, still good. It was given to me free probably 10 or 12 years ago. 
just save for a rainy day for something. Now this transition here is where the big hole started uh, due to the lightning strike. So I just filled all that up with concrete. Here's some bugs going up there. I should probably spray that. This was just put in here about a half hour ago, so it's just hardening up. <laughs> 